So John Cena had his match at uh, SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. Um, there has been a uh, uh, vocal section of people who don't like John Cena. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matt Carlin's has been one of them. We kind of butted heads a few weeks ago uh, here on the show. Poor John. Uh, as to the, uh, the problems with John Cena. I'm very, very scored by that, by the way. Right, right. Yeah, that would be fine. Um, so m- my question this week is, and uh, uh, maybe we'll do a, a flip side of this, but frankly, this is my big question, so I can ask whatever question I want. Um, it's easy to run down John Cena. It's shtick. You just regurgitate the same thing that everyone else has been saying again and again on the internet. Oh, his cargo shorts. Oh, Cena wins, lol. All of that. Let's take a cue from the Power Hour. Let's be positive. What do you love about John Cena? <laughs> I can start. Uh, I can I can go all day. You want to know what I love about John Cena? Hmm. He's amazing. He never stops working. He never stops trying to get better. He works hard to put uh, put he puts effort into his matches. He makes every single one of his opponents look good. Mm-hmm. And just because he wins matches doesn't mean that his opponents look bad at the end of them. You know, I, I, I'm not. This is going to be. This is not going to be my answer. I just want to take off on that. So uh, we Can were talking. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it sounded like an. I, I just. I, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say he's he's good. He's a good wrestler. He's entertaining. He's good for the business as a whole. And you can't say that about very many people. Go ahead. Okay. I apologize. I I, uh, I, I I apparently misinterpreted a dramatic pause for end of set <laughs> end of point. So so, but anyways, uh, the point. Uh, yeah, I was I was apologizing so much in my head. I didn't listen to your last part there. So I hope I didn't run over. <laughs> um, but you know, I I I listen as we talked about in some other podcasts. Like you know, guys like Gary Vaynerchuk about working hard and outworking the next guy and everything like that. I would love that guy to meet John Cena. Because mm-hmm. I feel like that is definitely a correlation there, um, you know. As we say, and I think illustrated very well in some of the documentaries they've done on him and everything too. Um, so I don't know, that was my only kind of side thought on that part. So, but. all right, I, I, I have mine. Okay, I like John Cena the person. <laughs> no, I'm no, no, I'm serious. I'm serious because uh-huh. I'm separating it from John Cena the performer, John Cena the character. Right, right, right. Um, right. I've, I've talked about this before. John Cena the person seems like. One of the most genuine human beings that they've had in WWE. Um, everyone I've talked to that's met him has said nothing but nice things about him. Uh, he just celebrated his 500th Make-A-Wish this mm. weekend in New York. Uh, they had a big thing for that. He's he's hilarious on Total Divas. Again, I don't know how much of that is shtick and how much of that is just he doesn't want to be on a reality show. Um, but John Cena, the person, seems like a really great guy up big wrestling fan who loves what he does and you can't really hate on that i think um i wish more of that would go into john cena the character because i think john cena the character seems sometimes almost too polished like almost too protecting the shield like the wwe shield like it it just seems very trained. And I, I know that's what you want your big star to be. Mm-hmm. But I think if you bring more of John Cena, the man into like when John Cena, the man influences John Cena, the characters promos, those are usually his best promos. And I think I'd rather see more of that as opposed to a guy giving John Stewart an AA just because he's the face. Okay. Okay. Um, mine kind of going along with you guys on this one. Uh, as a performer, he has done this for, what, 15 years now? Mm-hmm. Straight as an arrow. And the, the fact that there, there is a whole crowd chanting, John Cena sucks at him. He has his own goals in mind and wants you to change with him. And he and nine, nine times out of ten, 
he has. Uh, probably, if you asked me about this two years ago, I would probably say a snarky little answer like, "Oh, his jeans are cool." But <laughs> but as as the age goes by, as he goes by, you get more Cena. You get more.